Well, that's suicide. Well, maybe you're right, but somebody's got to nip off the supply of guns to the Seminoles. And as long as that fort's there, the Indians are just going to keep on getting them. Interesting facts about famous people. Movie roles. Gary Cooper. Turned down. Born to Alice Cooper. Yeah, I know. And Charles Cooper. His first stage experience was during high school and college. He worked as an extra for one year before getting a part in a two-reeler by the independent producer Hans Tiesel. Helene Sedgwick was his first leading lady. He then appeared in the winning of Barbara Worth, 1926, for United Artists, before moving on to Paramount. While there, he appeared in a small part in Wings and It, 1927, amongst others. In 1925, he befriended a young, struggling, would-be actor named Walter Brennan. They were even appearing as a team at casting offices. Although Cooper emerged in major and leading roles first, they would work together in the good years too. Most memorably, they starred in The Westerner, 1940 together, where the general critical consensus was that Brennan's underplayed performance as Judge Roy Bean had stolen the film from Cooper. Cooper's career is well known in roles such as High Noon, Today we will take a look at some films he passed on. Some wise choices, others we will never know. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Please take a moment to like and subscribe the channel as well. I appreciate it. Let's get into it. Foreign Correspondent, 1940. Johnny Jones is an action reporter for a New York newspaper. The editor appoints him European correspondent because he is fed up with the dry reports he currently gets. Jones. Jones's first assignment is to get the inside story on a secret treaty between two European countries by famous diplomat Mr. Van Meer. However, things don't go to plan and Jones enlists a young woman's help to track down a group of spies. Cooper admitted later that he regretted having turned down the chance to star as an American newspaper man caught in a web of spies in Alfred Hitchcock's classic. Actor who got the part, John McCree. Gone with the Wind, 1939. Scarlet is a woman who can deal with a nation at war. Atlanta burning, the Union Army carrying off everything from her beloved Tara, the carpetbaggers who arrive after the war, Scarlet is beautiful, she has vitality, but Ashley, the man she has wanted for so long, is going to marry his placid cousin, Melanie. Mammy warns Scarlet to behave herself at the party at Twelve Oaks. There is a new man there that day, the day the Civil War begins. Scarlet does not know he is in the room when she pleads with Ashley to choose her instead of Melanie. Gary Cooper was seriously considered for the part of Rhett Butler. Actor who got the part, Clark Gable. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, 1939. Naive and idealistic Jefferson Smith, leader of the Boy Rangers, is appointed on a lark by the spineless governor of his state. He is reunited with the state's senior senator, presidential hopeful and childhood hero, Senator Joseph Payne. In Washington, however, Smith discovers many of the shortcomings of the political process and his earnest goal of a national boys camp leads to a conflict with the state political boss, Jim Taylor. Taylor first tries to corrupt Smith and then later attempts to destroy Smith through a scandal. Gary Cooper was director Frank Capra's first choice to play Jefferson Smith. Actor who got the part, James Stewart. The Night of the Hunter, 1955. In the process of robbing a bank of $10,000, Ben Harper kills two people. Before he is captured, he convinces his son and daughter not to tell anyone, including their mother, Willa, where he hid the money, namely in Pearl's favorite toy, a doll. 
Ben is captured and convicted, sentenced to death. Before he is executed, Ben is in the state penitentiary with a cellmate, a man by the name of Harry Powell, a self-professed man of the cloth, really a con man and murderer, swindling lonely rich widows of their money before he kills them. Harry tries unsuccessfully to find out the location of the money from Ben. After Ben's execution, Harry decides that Willa will be his next mark. Figuring that someone Would in the like family knows where the money story. is hidden, left hand, right hand, Gary Cooper was considered for the role of the phony preacher, actor who got the part, the Robert brother Mitchum. Brother. Them kids is yours? My own flesh and blood. Red River, 1948. To Missouri, Tom Dunstan is finally ready to drive his 10,000 head of cattle to market. Back when Dunstan, his sidekick Nadine Groot, and a teenage boy, Matt Garth, the only survivor of an Indian attack on a wagon train, started off with only two head of cattle. The nearest market is 1,000 miles away. Dunstan demands a great deal from the men who have signed up for the drive. Matt is a grown man now. He has his own mind and soon runs up against the stubborn Dunstan. Soon the men on the drive are taking sides and Matt ends up in charge with Dunstan vowing to kill him. Director Howard Hawks originally offered the starring role in his masterful western to Cooper who declined it because he felt the role was too driven and ruthless to suit his screen image. Actor who got the part, John Wayne. Every one time you'll turn around and I'll be there. Saboteur, 1942. Los Angeles aircraft worker Barry Kane evades arrest after he is unjustly accused of sabotage. Following leads, he travels across the country to New York City, trying to clear his name by exposing a gang of fascists supporting saboteurs, led by apparently respectable Charles Tobin. Along the way, he involves Pat Martin, eventually preventing another major act of sabotage. They finally catch up with Frank Fry, the man who actually committed the act of sabotage at the aircraft factory. Gary Cooper turned down the chance to work for director Alfred Hitchcock. Alfred Hitchcock, who wanted him to play an innocent man on the run. Actor who got the part, Robert Cummings. Stagecoach, 1939. A simple stagecoach trip is complicated by the fact that Geronimo is on the warpath in the area. The passengers on the coach include a drunken doctor, two women, a bank manager who has taken off with his client's money, and the famous Ringo Kid, among others. Legendary producer David O. Selznick refused to make this classic western unless Gary Cooper played the Ringo Kid. Actor who got the part, John Wayne. A Star is Born, 1954. Norman Maine, a movie star whose career is on the wane, meets showgirl Esther Blodgett when he drunkenly stumbles into her act one night. A friendship develops, then blossoms into romance before tensions increase as Esther's career takes off while Norman's continues to plummet. Cooper declined the great role of Norman Maine, the major movie star aging and falling on hard times. Actor who got the part, James Mason. I've got more, so much more. In the Princess Theatre, in Pogatella. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. 
I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.